grand rising supreme beings it's your sister from another mist the lovely fly shy back with a very special one just for you listen i need you to like this video in advance all right prepare to share this video with a friend a family member a loved one what have you i need you to do your part and to do your due diligence in assisting with getting this word out you all because it is imperative it is integral it is a strong strong gem a strong download that i received earlier today and um we're just going to get into it so shout out to each and every one of you i want to thank you all for continuously supporting me on this journey of um you know awakening self-development and just really figuring out this thing called life right along with you all okay <clears throat> listen god says they don't even know what you're about to do they don't even know what it is that i have installed in you they don't even know what it is that I have instructed you to do, which is why they have they do not understand why the Most High has pulled you away, why the Most High has limited or completely blocked any form of contact between you and these said individuals. It is easy to tell. It is very easy to tell if you guys cannot see. You notice, you notice who is on your team and you realize who it is that you always thought would be on your team. You know that they aren't because they have shown themselves in this season. Yeah, they have shown how they truly feel about you and your season of rebuilding revamping the most high saint is saying as is the most high is restoring you from the inside out these same people that you know to be true and you have discovered that they are not really for you these said people are the same ones who are questioning gossiping slandering you in what it is that you were doing in this season what it is that the most high has instructed you to do not knowing that this all was preordained it was written all of it was written you all <clears throat> i just want you to know this and i know that I am not the only one that feels this. All right, so please <laughs> don't leave me hanging because I know that I'm not alone in this. So hear me out because I'm going somewhere. This isn't final. This is not final. This is not the last of you. This is not the end of you. Yes, they may have shut you out. They may have shunned you. They may have disappointed you. They may have betrayed you. But this is not the end of you. As long as you have breath in your body, that is another opportunity that you can use to better your circumstances, to better yourself. And to choose to get closer to the Most High, especially in this season. Because you know what? They hung you out to try. And they expected you to shrivel up. Yeah. They wanted you to shrivel up and die. Never to be again. But the Most High is saying, this is the season of redemption. Yes, this is the season of redemption because they do not know what it is that you are about to do. 
A lot of you are sitting on a multi-billion dollar idea right now. You are sitting on a multi-billion dollar idea. You are sitting on a multi-billion dollar vision. Yes. You are sitting on a multi-billion dollar blueprint that will not only save these naysayers and, and, and these family members who shunned you, who left you out, who, who, who sat you out there to dry, who ignored you, who, who chose to withhold love and support from you, you gonna be able to save them. And then some. The next generations to come and then some. This is how big the blessing and abundance and the prosperity that I see that is ordaining over so many of your lives. You all, we have endured, we have suffered. We have endured great and long suffering and the most high is saying to hell with what they think, to hell with what they say, to hell with the slander, to hell with the lies. Because guess what? They don't know what it is that you are about to do. Nope. They don't. And it is okay if they don't believe in you. Do you know what type of power and what force that you have behind you that is propelling you forward, pushing you, amping you up, energizing you? If only you all knew. You wouldn't even be you wouldn't even be worried about these people. You wouldn't be worried about trying to prove yourself to anyone. Your vision, your purpose is no one's business. I'm going to say that again. Your vision and your purpose is nobody's business. Besides you and the most high God, our creator of all things. And furthermore, once again, they don't know what the Most High is doing through you. You were the one that has been called. You were the one that has answered the call and that has taken a path that most do not take, that most would rather turn the other cheek to and go the other way. But you, you and I, we alike, we have picked up that phone. When we got that call, we picked up the phone and we said, all right, all right, most high, all right, creator, I got it. This is my mission. This is my purpose. All right, keep making it plain, Lord. Keep making it clear so that I can, so that I can bring it out into fruition so that I can bring it out of myself because I can see it so that I, I know that I can achieve it. I can see it so I know that I can manifest it. I know that I can bring it into this physical reality. And you all may have been feeling, you know, as if you have been attacked lately. You, a lot of you have been probably going through some form of spiritual attacks. You know, it seems like the devil wants to bring back, excuse me, bring back old habits of yours. You know, the devil wants you to, to backslide. The enemy wants you to go back down to hell and to descend when you have already ascended. You have already overcome everything that was set before you. And here it is, you have all of this temptation, you have all of this negative energy surrounding you, you have all of this drama. And it's like, for what? And the fact of the matter is, it's because of the light that lies within you. They don't like to see people like you and I that truly just want to change and to do our part, to take our rightful place and to do what needs to be done in, in saving humanity. Again, they may laugh now Yes, they're laughing now. They think it's funny because they are non-believers. These are the same people that claim to be God-fearing. It's Jesus Christ this and Jesus Christ that. 
And I just heard in a video earlier today, this gentleman was saying, people don't even want to live like Jesus Christ. They don't even want to take the, the stances that Jesus Christ has, was taken, regardless if that was the name or not. Y'all know who, the, who, who it is, right? The fact of the matter is whatever that character exuded was that rebel spirit. That fearless spirit that most aren't willing to take that path. But again, you and I have been called to do so. We have taken that path. We have become very, very conscious. We only vibrate on a higher plane of consciousness. Right? And it's like, these people attack you because they attack what they fear. They fear what it is that they don't understand. And they only fear because they refused to do the work that you have done. The inner work. Yeah, you can make your outer look all pretty and beautiful and, and all that. You can dress it up and make it look real good. Yeah, you can dress it up and make it look real good. But you can't dress up and make your insides look real good. You can't, because eventually it's going to ooze out of you. Eventually, people like me and so many other, so many more of the chosen ones will be able to see right through it, right through the, right through the mask, right through the lies, right through the false identity and false image. And you know what? That makes us a target, not only a target of discussion, but a target of attacks. The enemy doesn't like that. The enemy does not like that we are able to decipher when it is the enemy speaking and the most high speaking. The enemy doesn't like when we are able to see through, through it. The enemy don't like that. The enemy wants us to stay, to stay silent and stagnant. But that is not what the most high God has intended for us, which is why the tables have turned. Yes, the tables have turned now. The roles have been reversed, right? The rightful power that lies within you that you all are now tapping into, that is a threat that makes these people angry. But again, they do not know what it is that you are about to do you are about to save millions of lives with your story, with your testimony. Only you can do it. Yes. The one who was doubted, the black sheep. All along, you was the star seed. But they didn't know that, though. All this time, you was abused, misused, and overlooked. Ridiculed. Mocked look down on and so much more but guess what all of those who had a hand in that the most high is saying they are suffering they are suffering every single day as they watch you prosper and glow from the inside out your light cannot be let out your light cannot be dimmed and they know and they see that now and they are stuck with those emotions. They are stuck with the, the reality and the realization of the fact that you are untouchable. You are undefeated no matter what comes your way. You are able to deal with it diligently. Chin up, head up to the sky. You deal with it. And, and you know what? You are very, very humble. You are a grateful person. You are a very upstanding, outstanding person. And for that, you all are coming into this season of being rewarded. This is the winning season. Are you crazy? This is the winning season. Let them talk. Let them doubt you. Let them spread lies and try to make it seem like you are something or someone that you are not. Because the truth always prevails. The truth always reveals itself. It does. Sooner rather than later. You all, 
I want you to know no one is ever getting away with harming you especially if you know that you are the chosen one you have been called for a very divine mission and assignment to assist in the bringing forth the light in the darkness you are the only light in the darkness you have been called to do many things great things and to hell with those who don't believe it because guess what it is you that can see it you have the vision and for that reason you will achieve it you will see it through you will prosper all right so never look at your current circumstances as if this is permanent baby this is temporary this is temporal this is just a season yeah minor setback for a grand comeback a minor setback for a grand comeback they don't even see it yet they don't even know it yet and that's the beauty of it all God wants it just that way. God wants them to continue to sit up and laugh and gossip about you and, and act as if that you will and, and put it out. <clears throat> no, hold on. Let me rephrase that. God wants them to sit up and laugh and talk and gossip about you, right? Not knowing that here soon you are going to be bossed up and glowed up and showed off so much to the point where everywhere they go, they will get a glimpse of you. Yeah, they're going to run into you. But you won't be that same person anymore. You won't be. You will be totally made new. You will be brand new on these suckers. While maintaining sucker free. And God fearing. And righteous. You all. This here. It gets real. It really does. Um, when the Most High dropped that on my spirit earlier today while I was at work, I was just like, whoa, like, they don't even know what you are about to do. <laughs> they don't. But let them doubt you. Let them send all of that negative energy your way. And guess what? Transmute that energy, chosen ones. Transmute that energy, star seeds transmuted into something greater that even their own minds could not even fathom like i said a lot of you are sitting on billion dollar ideas they don't even know what the most high has instructed you to do they don't even know what the most high has installed in you keep rising keep shining keep glowing keep growing keep prospering and don't pay these suckers and naysayers and haters no mind you know who you are you know what your mission is stay focused let's get it